Good morning, everyone. Uh, in today's first reading, we see the whole episode of Cain and Abel uh, and how um, Cain was a guy who went out and he grew crops and so forth, and Abel looked after the sheep and, and that sort of thing. So when it came to a time to offer sacrifices, they both bought what they worked with. And as it turned out, um, animal sacrifices burn more easily, apparently, than wet vegetation. And it does says that God was not pleased with the sacrifice that was offered by Cain, but he was happy with the one offered by Abel. Uh, and that caused friction, needless to say, which uh, ended in disastrous results for, for Abel. Always a fascinating question I like to ask is, how many sons did, did Adam and Eve have? And usually people say, oh, it was Adam, you know, two of them, it was Cain and Abel. But we mustn't forget about Seth. Uh, Seth was the younger brother, and uh, much is said about him also in the scriptures. I want to focus, uh, though, also on the Gospel of Mark today, and it's chapter 8. We look at chapter 8 throughout most of this week, little uh, episodes that are happening between Jesus and the Pharisees and basically anybody else that Jesus came across. But uh, in this uh, particular passage we have a look at today, the Pharisees are demanding a sign from Jesus. And uh, Jesus gets quite annoyed with them, and he says, No sign shall be given to this generation. And so... <laughs> Then Jesus himself got crucified and rose again. Uh, that would be a pretty powerful sign, I would think. And I asked myself, what sort of sign does this generation want? You know, it'd be quite useful to have a great bolt of lightning come out of a clear sky and uh, zap uh, the ground or the something around people. But, you know, perhaps they would then sit up straight and, and pay attention. I think, you know, perhaps... Maybe in this generation, we've become also a bit blasé about the resurrection, that Jesus rose from the dead. And as we approach um, Ash Wednesday next week, I think it's important to appreciate it's the beginning of Lent. It might be a time for us to reflect on our attitude towards the signs that Jesus really gave us. Uh, and they are really important, and they should make a difference in our lives. You have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.